Wow, so much flavor. And with my recipe for keto crackers, you have to make this buffalo chicken dip. If you want to impress anyone at your next party, you have to bring this dip. It's buffalo chicken baked into a creamy cheesy base and it's so easy to make and it's about one gram a net carb per quarter cup serving. Scoop it up with some celery, pork rinds, or my favorite, keto crackers. Now let's get to cooking so I can show you how easy this is to make. We're going to start with my recipe for easy keto crackers. These crackers are crispy and we don't have to use cheese. Not that I don't like cheese, I love cheese, but the only cracker that cheese belongs in is a Cheez-It. Add 100 grams of almond flour to a small bowl. This is about one half cup plus one third cup of almond flour, or just roughly over three quarters a cup. Then add in a tablespoon of xanthan gum and a half a teaspoon of salt. You're gonna stir this together until it's combined. Then we're gonna put in six tablespoons of hot water. And then for some flavoring, this is optional, but I'm gonna use a buttered popcorn flavor, just a couple of dropper fulls here. You could also use butter extract, just a half a teaspoon. It just adds a little bit of flavor component, but like I said, it's optional. And as we stir this, you can see this xanthan gum is just starting to work. It's getting real goopy and it's gonna form this wonderful dough ball. We're gonna roll our dough out in between two sheets of parchment paper, and you wanna roll it out into a very thin layer. The thinner, the better, because it's gonna make a crispier cracker. Next, we cut these into cracker shapes. I'm gonna use a pizza cutter, but a knife will work as well. And I like to top my crackers with a little bit of olive oil with some Parmesan cheese. This is completely optional, but it does add a little bit of flavor. And then I put on a little sprinkling of some salt. Now we're gonna bake these in the oven at 250 degrees for 30 minutes. Meanwhile, let's work on that buffalo chicken dip. We're gonna start by melting a tablespoon of butter into a skillet. I'm using a cast iron skillet just because it's gonna go straight into the oven after everything is heated and mixed together. You can certainly use a casserole dish too. You would just mix everything into your casserole dish and then pop that in the oven. Next, add in two cups of shredded chicken and you can use chicken thighs, breast, tenderloin meat, it just needs to be shredded chicken. If you wanted a vegetarian option, you should use roasted cauliflower. It is excellent in this recipe as well. I'm also gonna add in a half a cup of buffalo sauce and I'll have some options on some ones that you could use on the keto diet. I'll have them listed down below in the description box. We let this cook for a minute or so just to kind of cook off some of that buffalo sauce and to get everything heated through. Then we're gonna kill our heat, turn it off completely and stir in a quarter cup of sour cream a half a teaspoon of lemon juice, and six ounces of cream cheese. Now my cream cheese is already softened and I've cubed it up into smaller chunks. This makes it easier to incorporate when you mix it together. And this is about a half a cup of shredded Monterey Jack cheese. I'm gonna add in two tablespoons here into my dip mixture. Just before I put this in the oven, I'm gonna top it with a third cup of crumbled blue cheese, along with that remaining shredded Monterey Jack cheese. And this will go into the oven at 375 degrees for about 10 minutes, just until it's melted and bubbly on top. And then we're gonna transfer it up into the higher rack to broil it on high for a couple minutes to get that cheese nice and golden. Checking on our crackers, we're gonna let these cool completely before using them. The longer they sit, the more they cool, the crispier they're gonna become. And if you want to store them, I recommend storing them at room temperature in a brown paper bag. That will also help crisp them up. Sprinkle your buffalo chicken dip with a little more blue cheese and some chopped up chives. And our carb tracker says that this is only 1.1 grams of net carbs per quarter cup. Making this so easy to stay keto, whether you're at a gathering or just at your house and need some little bit of a snack or an appetizer. If you're a fan of buffalo chicken, then you're gonna love my buffalo chicken meatballs. It's only one gram of net carb per serving. Click here to check out my playlist on keto buffalo chicken recipes.